The Mason City Arena is officially open for business, and the North Iowa Bulls christened it in a big way Friday night, taking down the Breezy Point North Stars by a 16 to nothing count in front of a record crowd of more than 2,000 fans. North Iowa got on the board early with a goal from Carter Wagner just a minute eight into the contest. North Iowa led by just two going to the second period, but four goals in the span of three minutes and ten seconds helped the Bulls tack on to the lead going to the third period with an eight to nothing lead. The Bulls added eight more in the final 20 minutes of the contest. Yeah, you know, we weren't sure about how the ice was going to be today after having yesterday off because of some problems with the ice, and it actually wasn't too bad. And once the rink's completely done, it's going to be unreal. Joe Daniger made 11 saves, pitching his second straight shutout as the Bulls move to 24-4-2 and two on the season. North Iowa will have a formidable test on Saturday as the Rochester Grizzlies, first place in the Central Division, come across division lines and come down to the River City for game number two in this building. Game number one, though, going to the Bulls in a big way Friday night with a 16 to nothing victory over the Breezy Point North Stars. 11 different North Iowa players found the back of the net in this contest. Bulls win it 16 to nothing. They're back at home Saturday night to try to do it again against one of the NA3HL's very best. For the North Iowa Bulls, I'm Austin Drowdy at the Mason City Multipurpose Arena.